Oh, hi, Alex. How are you doing? Yes, you did. You missed last week's stream. <laughs> you were in literally as I went live, so you've done well for yourself there. Uh, that's no excuse. You can watch from your dad's. You can watch from your dad's. <laughs> I hope you had a good time at your dad's day. You having a good weekend so far though? Doing a bit of admin work at the community centre. Oh, nice, nice. What sort of community centre is it? Voice guy, how you doing? Evening. You having a good weekend so far? Just like a village hall, so we have groups and events and etc. Mm, nice, nice. What sort of the main sort of events that go on there then? Just let me know, guys, if the music is a bit too loud um, or it's not on as per usual. So. Week, yeah, wonderful weekend too. Very nice. Music is perfect. That's good to hear. That is good to hear. First time out of uh, three streams that it's, it's been alright. First time. I'm, I'm expecting it to, to fall over at some point halfway through the stream, as it as it probably should. <clears throat> so what have you gotten up to your weeks so, uh, weekend so far? I had a very snowy walk to the pub earlier, and and that the pub wasn't open, so we walked to a cafe and had some lunch there. Starting the stream in a few minutes. Um, let a few more people come in first before I start uh, building things up. play around with this music a little bit because it is very loud in my ears and uh, probably isn't that loud for you guys so let's see if we can turn it down a little bit 
and then let's turn it on off of my OBS. All right, let me know if that's too loud for you now, guys. I only want it as a little bit of background music, really, so. I was out grabbing a cup of coffee with my mum earlier. I've slept most of the day. Yeah, I, I got back and I had a little nap before the stream in the hopes that it'll stop the yawning. Will be I've said yawn and now and uh, I did there. Oh my god. One mention of it, one mention of it, that's all it took. <laughs> Serial yawner. Hey Jordan, how you doing? And it's begun. <laughs> you know it, you know it. All right, so. This thing is, oh, another little mascot is here. I don't know where these damn things come. Zeal Zylans, saucy. Mm -hmm. Yes, so. I'm gonna put these to the side for a second. So these are some of the parts that we're gonna be using today. So I've got some lovely screw and stabs with gold. Gold. Uh, let me move this out of the way show you my lovely gold doesn't look like gold 24 karat gold apparently I believe it I believe it so we've got these are the only stabs that we need for today that they so met the, these are these are the um, fake stabs um, but they are they've just got gold wires instead of the normal silver wires uh, the spritz ones, and then so they're my they're the two stabs that I need. Uh, gold uh, stab wise, obviously better than non gold wise. Yes, yeah, I mean, I mean, uh, not not just aesthetically, they are they are better. <laughs> but so these are my MX Zylots. I went for the 78 gram ones because I like the darkest blue. Um, so far they've been okay. But, oh, um, hi Andy, how you doing? So far, these these have not been too bad. Um, the springs that they come in are, uh, they are the uh, Gateron ones and they are 78 grams of hot trash. Um, so... I swapped these ones out. These ones have been swapped out for wherever the bag has gone. Uh, these uh, to the 78. Uh, sorry, the, these aren't 78. These are 72 gram progressive springs in these, and I've got a 78 packet so that I can swap the space bar. Uh, uh, so in these there is the 72 gram progressive springs, but. What I've decided to do is you can do what's known as a re reverse progressive by flipping the spring over. So if I get one of these springs, and I'll try and show you as best as I can. I mean, it's not going to be very, it's going to be a little difficult because the camera's focusing won't get in as close as I want it to get in. But I'll try and show you guys. So um, I'm going to have to try and hold this so that you guys can see it a little bit better. So, on the spring that you can see there, you can see that, I've got to try and hold it as still as possible. On this left hand side here, the coils are, aren't as tight as the ones on the right hand side. And so, as you push down from this side, going down this way, it'll get, uh, it'll get harder and harder to depress but if you flip it over, it gets it gets easier, um, easier to depress. So what I'm what I'm doing is I'm starting off nice and easy, making it harder to go down. Or is it the other way around? <laughs> no, I'm going harder to depress, and then it's easy from there. So in theory, it should make it harder to press down so slightly more tactical tactile at the top for these 70 uh, for these silence because the tactility is right at the very top 
and then it should make it easier afterwards, I think. <laughs> so let's uh, check what you guys are doing. So, um, got an ad. So, <laughs> man's making bank. Yeah, if only I was like partnered or something like that, I would. That, that's the only reason that I would uh, be making bank. Unfortunately, Twitch is making bank off of me. Um, yeah, ad block doesn't work, unfortunately. Um, on Twitch for folks, I found that out. I found that out the other day when I was um, having a play around. Oh, and hey, Stocks, how you doing? Uh, yes, if this... Um, if this hacko sets on fire, then I'm seriously going to be peeved. Um, well, from what I'm, what I understand, Alex, they, from, from what I've been told, they don't, because the coils, on the normal, the coils are the same throughout from what spirit has been telling me he's made it tighter at one end so there's more coils at one end so he's been saying to me that if you flip the spring you get a reverse progressive feel and it does feel it does feel different i find that the return the turn return tactility is stronger if I flip the spring over, then if I have it normal, um, and I'm probably gonna swap these out at some point to lighter, so that then they're closer to sort of stock Topra. Um, that's that's the plan at the very least. That is the plan. I'll sw swap these out for stock to make it feel like stock Topra. So the PCB. So the PCB that I'm using is my little UK40. Um, and this board, this board has been used once before. Um, I had hold tights, um, as you might be able to see, installed up on the top left there. Uh, the reason that I've left those two hold tights in is because they are trapped. They're trapped by the um, the controller, and so the controller's already soldered in place. Um, but everything else is desoldered and ready to go. Uh, really lovely little board. I flashed it already, um, and I know that this is definitely working. Uh, but we're going to have a little bit of fun, fun building this tonight. So uh, that's that. Over behind the camera is the parts for this build. So the first part, I'll show you guys. <coughs> this bit here. Is my lovely brass plate it's gotten a little dirty here and there um, unfortunately uh, unfortunately brass does tarnish when you touch it and so I've had this taken apart a couple of times but these standoffs are in solidly um, and it's cut to a layout that works perfectly for me on this to be able to have a, uh, a stepped caps uh, well, a stepped function on this left hand side and uh, a sort of antsy esque layout, not a normal sort of layout, and then a 6.25U spacebar. Um, but it works quite nicely for me, uh, and that's the top piece. So, nice sandblasted brass plate with a wood section on top. Uh, so, I'll put that back over there. And then, what we have is we have a couple of middle pieces. So these just sit round there, and then we have the uh, base. And so this base is just a, a nice wood piece that's had the Great Wave of Kanagawa um, etched into it. And I've had to make some modifications to this, um, which uh, has allowed for the controller to fit in. Uh, as you can see, I've butchered the underside a little bit. Uh, but it allows it to sit in nicely uh, with a decent amount of space. Uh, so let's just catch up. Um, da -da -da -da. Um, uh, 
need to do some blind testing. Yeah, I'm happy to do some blind testing. I mean, there is, you can definitely feel it um, as you as you depress on a normal on the normal the normal way. You can feel the tactility right at the very top, and then it disappears, and then when it comes back, it feels like a pretty much a normal xylem. But when you flip the spring the tactility at the top is slightly lighter and then when it comes back you can almost feel like it, it's almost like it's um, almost like it as if like a feeling of binding but it's not it like, sort of bumps through it and it's quite quite tactile when it does come back through uh, or at least of what I found so far um, so yeah uh, well you're welcome to um, try some of these um, springs Alex if you want to give them a try um, Uh, I've got plenty of different weights here. In fact, I've got, I've got 62. Uh, I've got to remember what I've got now. 62. Uh, it's either 62 or 62.5. 65, 67, 72, 78. All in the P, um, the progressive format. Um, yeah, I'd love to have a. Uh, uh, an ISO 40%. Albeit this this does actually support ISO, um, but. It, the backspace has to be moved to the sort of on, on the same row as the, as a, it doesn't fit particularly well, and th there was a slight issue with the cutout for it, and so it sits with an ever so slight gap. It doesn't sit quite as well as it could do, um, and so there's a gap around around the ISO, uh, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, but yeah, I'll, I'll happily um, if you want one building up, I'll, I'll happily build it up. Uh, seeing as I will be in the same town as you, well, you're not going to be there right now, but I will eventually be in the same town as you. Um, Matt, do you have uh, copyright free music uh, on because of YouTube? Yes, yes, I do. Um, this is uh, a copyright free, royalty free, lo fi playlist, um, which I can send to you guys if you want. Uh, let me know if you want to. Let me know if you want to um, have it. Uh, yeah, that, well, that, that's what I I would have thought, but the 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 graphs that he was able to show me show an upward curve, obviously, um, and then he was able to show me some show me some graphs of flipping it over, and there is a change in how it feels. Um, uh, there's a change in the graphs that is, um, but he he's gone off to go do some more research onto them. So the, those graphs are off of his website at the moment, unfortunately. Otherwise, I'd have shown you all you guys, which is a bit of a pain in the ass. He's taken them down in the last the last day or so, which is a bit of a pain. So the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to put some stabs onto this. So these lovely gold stabs, I'm going to put down onto here. Uh, only real proof would have uh, be ones of Hutter's. I haven't had any of the Hutter springs at all. Um, what is this? <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Nobody look at that link that uh, Lunatrix has um, put in there. His force graphs. I haven't seen them. Um, I haven't seen his force graphs as of yet. If I had moderators in here. Um, Jordan, I would be banning you right now for that sort of behaviour, but not this time. You can live happy with knowing that. 
you can live live happy now. Uh, just to, oh, in fact, I'm forgetting one major thing here. I need to lube these. Quickly. You can hand deliver it. You can hand deliver it. Um, so the move is going well. I say the move is going pretty well. Uh, we're finishing up with our um, with it all now, um, and we should be having our mortgage offer in about sometime next week. I hope, and that means that we are ninety nine point nine percent there. And then we can move into the new home. Uh, grab these back out. For those that don't know, I'm um, going through the process at the moment, the very long and arduous process of buying my first home with my other half. We found the home uh, late, late November, early, early December last year, and we are just going through the process of buying it now. It's taken a little while, but we'll be there eventually. Oh dear God, this music is weepy as hell. He's clipped it as well. So I'm just lubing these up with a little bit of uh, silicon multi purpose car lube. Does the job nicely. These don't need an awful lot of lube though. Um, <laughs> yeah, you gotta catch me off in a better way than that. You can't just you can't just know me out of nowhere. Poor form. Sorry, guys. So, uh, I've got the camera set back a little bit further than norm, uh, set further forward than normal, so I've got to lean over a little bit more today. I hope all, all of you are having a good um, Saturday. I hope that. You got a good rest of the weekend planned as well. Busy ones. Busy always. Busy ones are always the best ones. Gold wires for extra stability. I mean, yep, yep. Gold wires. I mean, for, for to be even more stable on the table, one has to use gold wires. I can't be using these, those cheap, cheap silver wires. Those uh, aluminium rubbish. You know, Are they even aluminium.
let's see if you really want to get somebody you need to send them goats yeah okay yeah no don't don't do that don't do that don't do that <laughs> you've got a couple of dope builds in mind what are these dope builds that you've got in mind then um, Jordan like in the old days please don't go google those these yeah uh, guys I can oh, I've got them one upside down for some reason I can definitely say don't google them don't google them similar with uh, what is it blue waffle don't don't google blue waffle it'll ruin your childhood um, weekend is good yeah what whereabouts are you in university at the moment, uh, Andy? Surely, if you're past the Watford gap, it can't be that good. Got some free PCBs off Max Cable Car. Um, yes, he is. He is such a lad. He is a real lad. It's a shame that he's not in the UK anymore. It's a shame that he's not in the UK anymore. Good old Mr. West Fox Drop. Um, you made this, okay? Am I am I getting known for the second time in a, in one stream? No. Ooh, that is nice. Little macro pad going on there. Very nice. Did you um? Did you get all of the parts soldered down for you, or did um? Did you get a Chinese company to, uh, or did, or did you solder them down? Did you get a Chinese company to solder them down for you, or did you solder them yourselves? Uh, why are you desoldering now? And what are you desoldering? Uh, even better if you polish the silver wire. It's good mem. Yes. I mean, these are polished. I mean, I've, I've used... Um, what is it? Fishburns gold polish to make sure that they are to the premium factor. Otherwise, it's not worth it. Well, what's the point of putting gold wires in there? What is the point? Yep, spawn. Unfortunately, this is a forty percent zone tonight. You may you may want to look away uh, for one stream. Yeah, don't want to be, don't want to be doing uh, googling lemon party either. Many things that you do not wish to be uh, googling. Very nice. You've done very well on soldering that. My my first uh, PCB that I SMD soldered was horrible. I lifted multiple pads. It was it was pretty pretty horrific. The uh, the job that was done on it went straight in the bin. Only need a tiny little bit of lube. Okay, so we made it to the front page. Uh, I, I, I can't even read that. M m Okay, so I'm worried. I'm I'm immediately worried by this, by this link here. Um, it says these are PCBs, and I'm, I, I'm not believing that one second. Andy, can you test it for me? Because. Not even for one second do I believe that. All right, Sponage was confirmed that it's PCBs, but that still doesn't give me reason to press it. There seems to be a little bit of 
plastic sticking out on this one. This one is that all of these are pre-clipped. It seems to be a little bit of a little bit of plastic, so I'm just gonna chop this off. Got some new clippers that are pretty uh, pretty good. Okay. Better? It's it's the PCBs. Okay, okay, okay. I'll press it. I'll press it. Ah, <sighs> oh, this is what it's become, has it? This is what it's become. I should, I should have I should have seen that Stocks' reply earlier. Didn't get that far down. <laughs> oh dear God. Alright. I'm gonna I'm not gonna open a single link from you again, Jordan. I'm not opening a single link from you again. Somebody in here is one of my moderators, actually. It's either Stocks or it might have been Gimli at some point that was one of my moderators. Uh, feel free, f feel free to ban Jordan uh, whenever you feel. <laughs> don't, don't, please don't, don't ban him. He good boy. What can be? much of a punchline um, to the old uh, getting gnomed it's just the fact that it's a bit like a rickroll that's meant to be the idea of it I think but sort of explaining it does uh, does take some of the fun out of it I mean, what you could well do is you could well just uh, set up your own YouTube channel and uh, uh, YouTube channel, uh, your own uh, Twitch channel, and uh, Jordan will come along and catch you. Just need to add a little bit of lube to where the stab wire is going to go. change this music in a minute because I'm not into, into it so much. It's not as interesting as the stuff that I listened to last week. I might have to might have to try and get myself a free playlist of it. Alright, let's find something else. Song, so let's try a different one. There we go, that's a bit better. I 
Um, I should be twi it should be twice shy, but uh, fool me once, shame on you. Uh, fool me twice, shame on me. That's what Bush said, wasn't it? Or what was it? Shame on you twice. Can't remember what Bush said now. <laughs> Ho ho ho, my old chum. I can't do the uh, voice at all. Ooh, there. Nope. Can't even do it. I would attempt. I can't do the voice whatsoever. The best person that I've ever seen do the voice is, well, Boaty. Uh, Boaty does a pretty good um, version of the choice uh, of the voice. but with gnomes yes it is rick rolling but with gnomes also imagine having a 40 percent that's that usp is the iso <laughs> yeah, it doesn't work uh yeah <laughs> it's it's just not even attached there's no traces that go to it there's there's just two holes that don't even have pads it, it just says supports supports ISO on the box. Doesn't doesn't really support it at all. All right, we've got stabs in place. So let's move this out of the way. So let's grab the plate. Uh, I think you might have some trouble there, Jordan, um, getting somebody to press your profile. Seeing as nobody is going to trust your prof pressing any of your links anymore. Alright. This holds quite well together. Because unfortunately, when I got the plate cut, I didn't realise that they were going to do it to such a tight tolerance. And because of that, the stabs, the stabs do uh, have been grinded down on the outer edges a little bit because of it. <laughs> yeah, spawn. The the that was that was what it was like back in my day. Everything seemed to be a rick roll. It's like, oh my god, uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 uh, uh, teaser stuff and you press on it and uh, Rick Astley would immediately start I was like god damn it uh, need to know if I'm live why is Twitch so weird uh, I'm not going to be able to help you there I'm afraid not going to be able to help you there if somebody else wants to get gnomed you're more than welcome to help him So we're just going to put a couple of these switches in place now. Albeit this one immediately does not want to go in place. Uh, we'll try that one again in a minute. CB wasn't sitting perfectly in place. Um, Luna Twitch, just use your phone. Same punchline, three times in a row is not making it, making the joke better. Uh, he makes a fair point there, Jordan. He does make the joke uh, point. So this is a lovely piece. That they're, they're cut in slices, but the I'm not sure what the wood is that they've used. Um, it, the, I got this from a laser cutters. It's called Good Empire, I think. Uh, but I went for the that they've on their website. They've got it noted down as walnut. So 
Um, it could. I'm not exactly sure what sort of wood it is, to be fair. But it smells lovely. And it's pretty decently strong. I've, I've, um, I've had a play around with the um, sanding it down and stuff like that, and um, putting other finishes into it. And uh, no, I didn't stain it, but they, um, they added a stain over the top of um, the cut. I'm guessing it's some sort of, possibly some sort of laser board or something like that. Um, soldering, t uh, soldering together my the 50 this week, um, but forgot to install stabs before soldering the switches. Oof, that's a big oof. Uh, spent about, uh, spent an hour desoldering 10 switches and wiggled the stab wire in place. So, oof, that's, yeah, that's, that's pretty, uh, that's pretty unfortunate there. Uh, I, I, be, I became the master of um, doing that sort of thing, wiggling stab wires and getting them in place so that you don't have to even uh, disorder a switch. I managed to, it was, a, it was a board like this. It was one of the, it's one of the ones that's up on the wall and uh, it used it used uh, PCB mount stabs, and so what I did was I managed to pop this off, undo the stab wire because it sort of just slid out, and I was sort of, sort of able to slide it back the new one back in, um, and able to um, then place the PCB mount stabs in there sort of thing. I thought that it was um, uh, plate mount. Right up until the point when I decided to put the plate mount stabs in and they didn't sit in there at all. One thing that I'm going to do with this is I am going to lube up the uh, a 78 gram spring, and I'm going to put that in as the space bar. Uh, Only two stabs in the split um, split enter. For the split enter. Oh, you meant split space, I see. Got some um, new uh, headphones this week, guys. Um, my dad popped over, and uh, he's had he's had these he had these headphones um, before me, and uh, didn't really use them much. He bought he, these are um, Philips Fidelio twos, and he bought them, and then got a pair of really really nice pair of Shaw headphones. Um, I can't remember the model number because they've got a string of uh, numbers and letters. Uh, but um, he started using those instead, and then these just never got used at all. Ooh. One switch has made a run. It's made a runner run under the desk somewhere. I'm going to have to find it, otherwise, we are going to be out one switch. Where have you gone, little switch? <sighs> I'll be one second, guys. I'm just going to crawl under my desk to find this switch. Oh, yeah. Saying that, where is my phone? I'm 
very far, which is useful. Yeah, so as I was saying, um, yeah, so he had the he's had these sitting around for in his office for ages and ages and ages, and he brought them over and asked if I wanted them. So yeah, got an upgrade. Got an upgrade from my Bear Dynamic DT seven seventies six sixties. Can't remember which one we got now. It's nice, but it does have some finishing imperfections. Um, if you look up close, what, are you able to link this board in in chat? Haven't seen the um, the the fifty T H E fifty. Yeah, they're really nice. I mean, I can show you guys them a bit more if you like. So, I mean, they're solid headphones. I mean, I'm liking this uh, headband that they've got. Um, but one thing that I have got coming uh, fairly shortly is a slightly shorter cable, seeing as uh, the coils and coils and coils of like a, a three meter long cable aren't useful when you're sat next to sat next to the computer that you're uh, working on. So I've got a uh, new Pexon cable on their way. Oh yeah, I've seen this little board. It looks adorable. I'm not sure I could actually use a um, a 40% with a macro pad on the on the right though, because uh, I would I think I'd really struggle. Um, because I t with the 40%, I tend to like put my hand over here like this, and so I could sit, see myself hitting those keys. He's talking about making a sad poor version. Ooh, now that that interests me. That does interest me. A sad poor variant of it would be very nice. Spawn. I, um, I've got a uh, three foot um, uh, black uh, cable coming from PEX uh, with little gold connectors at either end. Because uh, nicely, nicely enough, this is this connector here is um, detachable, so I, I, I can swap it out. Fortunately, I'm not going to have to do any silly desoldering work to be able to get get the headphones off. the um, camera's already done its first lock up and stop I tried working out why it does this um, and I could not figure it out whatsoever um, it just seems to decide that it no longer wants to work but it only takes a couple of seconds to actually get started again Upgraded the camera's firmware. I upgraded the um, EOS utilities stuff that I've got. I've got. Yeah, I have actually. Th um, so Mayor, uh, Mayor says uh, just another webcam instead of a Canon camera. I have actually thought about just doing that. Um, it probably would a be, be a better suggestion, but uh, um, I don't really want to buy any more equipment at the moment, seeing as. Um, Buying our first home is going to be top priority, and uh, 
definitely mean that I'm not going to have an awful lot of money. Um, I'm really happy with my new PEX audio cable. Uh, they, they now have uh, really nice looking metal connector cases uh, for 3.5 mm ends. That's nice. Um, uh, I've, I have upgraded to the the, the gold connectors um, because, as you know, in audio stuff, gold gold does mean better. Same, same as in uh, stabs and springs, gold always means better. <laughs> um, hi Jericho, how are you doing? Um, welcome to the stream. Are you having a good uh, good Saturday evening? Just chilling out here as I build or attempt to build this little UK 40 up. Um, money is bad. That's why I get rid of it as quickly as possible. Yeah, it seems to be it seems to be what I do as well. Okay, and there is one more switch in here, or I hope there is at least. There he is for the space bit. So what I'm going to just do is uh, which one did I use the loop? I use that one. I'm going to grab a little bit of Crytox 106 and we are going to do a little bit of living. Uh, I have an old 360p webcam that you can have for free. Cool. I think people pay money to um, get rid of those things nowadays. <laughs> gold digger, yeah. Cover anything in gold now. I'm, I'm your man. I'm not going to touch the sides of that too much. It has got a little bit of lube. Uh, I'm watching Bing with the three-year-old. Shit, true, yeah. <laughs> so you've um, started up my stream to uh, help out. <laughs> Mel will pay postage. Same, it's the same thing. No, no, that that isn't the same thing. I have to then live with a 360p camera, which which is going to be uh, a whopping great big step down. Just going to put a bit of Crytox on this spring. Don't want to put too much on. I like to do the whole spring, not just the little end bits. I do the whole thing. Need to get some stem tweezers. Oof. Are they made of gold? Um. <laughs> For your sanity. Oh, well, I'm not sure you've come to the right place. I've been known twice already in this one stream. Which is quite impressive. Um, I broke mine the other day, it was so, so nice, I could just uh, 
print another pair in 30 minutes. Damn. I mean, if you get me some gold um, stem tweezers, I will happily take them off your hands. Uh, let me just find the bag of 72 gra uh, 72 p springs. I don't want to lose. I don't want to stop throwing things everywhere. Uh, and bag of stuff in somewhere. Ah, oh, yeah. I've got a bag of springs and no 72. Oh, there. They're right here. I mean, I can do great. Well, sorry, but I can't. I can't do great. Uh, it has to be gold. Uh, and I'm putting my foot down on, on that. It has to be gold. If I had gold for them, I'd print you some. But at the moment, I can only make some blue or grey ones. I mean, what sort of blue are we talking here? Navy blue? It's as good as gold. I mean, it's as good as gold. move some of this stuff out of the way because we are going to start up the new soldering iron so last week I plugged this baby in and uh, I plugged it into the wall and during the stream it crackled made a lovely crackling sound I think you guys might have been able to hear it um, and when I came to sort out the space bar after the stream so the 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 stabs weren't sitting quite right so I clipped them down a little bit further uh, and when I did that I needed to um, desolder, desolder the space bar switch and so I plugged this in and it crackled again but instead of um, going going like normal it crackled and then went bang um, and the power supply that was attached to it was just shitty and so I got them to um, I got them to refund me and um, stuff, so I've upgraded. I've upgraded. Um, if I can bring it into the picture, I have upgraded to a Hacko. I bought the um, FX 888D off of Amazon, um, and I've used this now a couple of times, and it's beautiful. Um, really beautiful um, soldering iron. Um, I'm going to need to get some other tips for it. I need to get some chisel tips and stuff like that, but uh, uh, I'll get them eventually. Uh, but there, it is a bit spendy. Um, it is a bit spendy. Oh, sorry, guys. I, sorry. I couldn't tell that the chat was there. I can't pull it too much, unfortunately, because it's... It's all wired up around here. But, come on. I'm desperately trying to get it around. I could, do you know what I could do? I could, I could, I could do just this. Like that, there we go. Look at that. There we go. So, that's my Hecko. Um, and it's just got the standard, uh, just got its standard uh, soldering iron that goes with it um, do you guys want to see a link to it do you let's have a look I've been thinking about buying this for a little while now um, here you go guys I'll put that link in the chat for you so that is uh, yeah, that's not Matt's hacko, exactly. No advice guy. It's not my hacko. <laughs> but that that's the hacko soldering iron that I bought. Um, so uh, I'm just gonna make sure all of these switches are nice and firmly pushed in um, into the plate because it is quite a tight plate and you can feel a couple of them sort of ping in. 
bit better. Um, yeah, Alex, it is pricey, but um, I, I believe not getting electrocuted is probably better than getting electrocuted uh, from a, a TS100. Albeit, it did kill my um, surge protector. So I wonder, I wonder what would have happened to the electronics that were on a um, multi plug if I hadn't, uh, if I didn't have a surge protector attached to it. Uh, yeah, I mean, the, this is the one that Pex uses. Um, my advice guy, um, and he's been using his thing for ages and ages and ages now, and it's just, it's just solid. Um, I've gone through about four soldering irons and some that he's had that one. So I'm just gonna make sure that the pins are through. That's the main concern. Okay. I will do my sellout time here guys. Um, if you can if you enjoy the content so far, please um, make sure you um, hit follow on the stream. Um, there's no subscribe yet, but um, eventually maybe. Um, but if you can hit follow for me, uh, you'll at least be notified when I go live in the future. For more of these build streams. And we have actually got one next week. Um, in fact, we have two next week. We have one on Friday night and one on Saturday night. Um, a client has dropped me a message and said that they'd like a uh, one board desoldering and one and resoldering with new switches, um, and another one wanted uh, uh, their board just building. So should have two streams next week. Should be nice. Um, May advice guys. Uh, oh, sorry, May advice guys says, can I double follow you? Uh, well, in theory you can. You just need to set up another account and follow me, but that sounds a little bit, uh, yeah. Uh, I'm not uh, not selling out that hard, Spanager. I'm not selling out that hard. I guess uh, that's the folly of having Chinese power supplies. Yeah, I mean, it, it is a funny color, I will admit. Uh, I would prefer a nicer color, but what can you do? Just gonna give this a little bit of solder on the end. Let's just make sure we've got the focus point in the right place. Just gonna tin the tip a little. No. No, the, the channel won't turn into ski, like ski, ski with Pete's one. Albeit, I have actually, the, well, I haven't watched his streams for a little while now, but um, he was a nice guy when I used to watch him. Maybe he went super sell out meme mode. That's what you gotta do when you have a business, I guess. So. I know that most of you guys that are in the chat at the moment are, um, they've done quite a lot of builds yourselves, but um, if, if there are anybody that's in the chat that hasn't spoken up so far that maybe isn't as experienced about building building boards, uh, please do, um, uh, please do uh, drop me a message, I'm more than happy to help you build boards, even if it's just questions, I have to answer questions. Oh, and. Uh, at Ambercore 1000, thank you very much for the, uh, the the follow. I'm assuming that is just Amber, uh, the maker of this board. Oh, Ambercore isn't. Um, it, it isn't Amber. Okay, it's Mayor Advice Guy, apparently. 
Oh, that's a surprise. No, well, thank you for the double follow, at the very least. Unfortunately not, Jericho. Unfortunately not. They haven't been sent out as of yet. Um, we've had some pretty bad snow last night. Um, and the weather isn't looking great for tomorrow either, to be fair. It's, it's meant to be minus six um, here tonight. Um, went out for a walk earlier and there was a few cars driving about, but um, lots and lots of trees down in my area. and uh, So unfortunately, couldn't make it up to the post office at all. The post office is a little way away from where I live. Probably, um, probably good three or four miles, maybe five, maybe. So unfortunately, they're in a bag sitting on the sofa behind me. So sorry about that, dude. I've got another. I've got another load of clears to send out to somebody else as well. All my clears got bought up very, very quickly after I said said the uh, price. Oh, don't worry. I, I will. I will be sending some memes in the bag for you as well. Don't worry about that. I might just try and turn this soldering yarn down a bit. The desoldering 350 worked quite nicely, but. Uh, uh, down to 300 it's just reducing down 350 was a little bit uh, uh, Chimerex Chimerex is that Cymerex Cymerex uh, hello uh, greetings from Norway he says uh, hello from the UK hello we have um we have a couple of people that are uh, that are from our international on here tonight. Oh, that's a bit better. Cymerex. Cymerex. Okay. Sorry guys, I've just got a message here from a couple of people. Oh, I see Geordie's message. I'm going to be dodging that one. Have you guys got planned for tomorrow then? What are you guys up to on a what would be, I guess, across the country, a very snowy, snowy, icy Sunday? I'm going to a christening tomorrow. I guess you guys over in Europe are a bit more used to um, snowy conditions and stuff like that. Chimerex. Cymerex. So, uh, I'll show you what I'm building. So, this is my little UK 40. So, this is my little 40% build. Oh, thank you very much for the follow, um, Cymerex. I will get your name right eventually. Uh, so this is my little UK40 build. Um, I've had the UK40 for quite some time. 
uh, and I got a brass plate cut for it and I've got some wood sections built uh, cut and engraved well I say engraved uh, laser etched for it and so we're building it with um, reverse curve um, uh, xylens and these are 72 gram springs and 78 gram spring for this uh, space bar. Uh, and this is my little little build little little build um, oh <laughs> Oh, that was a that was a fleeting visit. Uh, see you later, dude. Um, over here, the weather has cleared up completely, and the temperature is in the positives. Wow, very nice. So you're going to be down by the beach. Somebody didn't they? Eh? Stocks is there. What's the weather like up in Glasgow at the moment? Good weather? Talking about five degrees. <laughs> yeah, I guess five degrees isn't that hot. Um, weather is fine, to be honest. Had snow, then minus nine. Oh, wow. Oof. Snow then minus nine does not sound too fun. You guys are a bit more ready for it up there than we are down here. We aren't particularly ready for it. It's still only Denmark. I guess I guess people don't generally go to be for beach holidays in Denmark, so I mean, the beaches are filled in the summer period when temperatures reach plus 20 and the harbour in Copenhagen is also filled with people. Damn, that's not bad. I've, I've, um, I haven't really been, been over that edge of the world, really. I do want to do a bit more travelling when, uh, when we sort this, finally sort the house out. I would like to go there. See some of the Scandinavian countries. Never know. May even be able to make it over for uh, for a meetup. Maybe not this next one, but maybe a meetup after in the future sometime. You know. So, any of you guys jumping on the? The pink Zilio, the pink Helio um, hype train. I was very close to buying some the other day. 
They did look very nice. I was more interested in the fact that it was grouped by pricing than uh, it actually being pink. I didn't, couldn't really give it. Uh, couldn't really care less. Uh, you might say something a little bit ruder. Um, I couldn't really care less uh, that it was pink. It's just the fact that it's uh, grouped by pricing. Oof, I've pulled boys, I've pulled. Uh, Andy says, fuck that, it's expensive, right? Uh, they're, they're cheaper than um, currently any of the switches that are on his website. Um, I think they're 90, 90 cents each. So they're still quite expensive, but I mean, Telios I regard as um, one of the best uh, linears. I've got them in the board in front of the one that I'm building now. Um, I really like I really like the feel of Telios, uh, and Helios are meant to be a silenced extension of that. Really, they're meant to be really nice. Um, I've had reports from Idex World saying that he, they're, they're his favourite switch. So, Roselios, that's it. Yeah. Resilios. I've. Um, I was more just interested in the fact that because normally they're tw that it's twelve dollars for ten, uh, which which obviously mounts up pretty quickly. But if it's nine dollars for ten, then it's not as bad. But you are still paying the zeal tax on that, and zeal tax is pricey, you know. One of the best linears. It's nothing to be proud of. Still linear. Ah, I mean, I'm coming around to linears more and more and more. There's there's a uh, certain upper class refinement to linears. It's a bit like wine and whiskey. I mean, you can you can eat you can drink a can of Boddingtons and say it's great like a clicky, or you can uh, be higher class, you know, and uh, drink wine or whiskey. Go for that sucker punch from, from Spawny. Here he comes with his uh, with his response. Uh, and face. Uh, I just started getting into linears, but I'm starting starting with Gat Yellows. Uh, instead of jumping into the deep end, uh, so I try I, for my builds. I did try other other stuff. Um, I've got a good friend of mine who's a guy called Ross, uh, who's on the MK UK Discords, and uh, he everything that he uses is linears. I think he's I think he's literally just made his first build or his second build um, uh, with tactiles for the uh, for the first just recently uh, but um, he is all about that linear's life um, and so at the meetups I've tried his boards out multiple times and see just went to see how things are really and what he thought were good and so he said Tilio's a nice and and uh, he's a big fan of vintage blacks and he's tried get yellows and stuff like that um, so I had to try. I had to try Tilios out. He said that the thock, it's not they're, they're not as thocky, but they are smoother. And so that sold it that sold it to me. I prefer them um, smoothness smoothness over tactile uh, over not tactility over the sound. Albeit the sound is lovely. Um, easier to make, just very hard to get perfect. What's that for, Alex? Is that for um, clicky switches? I, c I can agree. Uh, difficult to make perfect clicky switches, especially when you're uh, when when you're working with Aristotle's 
Aristotle's stems in general are just horrid. Oh, you're talking about linears. Um, uh, Andy says Ross, Ross has nice boards. Yes, yes, he does. He has some really nice boards. He, uh, he takes an awful lot of time over choosing the, um, the switches, uh, making sure that they're all consistent and then lubing them individually and then testing them out all together and the the amount of time that that man puts into his boards is incredible uh, but when it comes to meetup when, when it comes to the meetups and stuff and when you try them out they are just perfect uh, Vasco says I have a bit uh, I have a bit of everything and I like to use every kind of switch oh. Yeah, I'm a bit the same really. Um, I've got clicky boards, I've got linears, I've got tattoos, um, I've got Alps boards, I've got... I did have a Vimolo EC switch design as well. Um, still still the smoothest board, but uh, one of, well, I say one of the smoothest, smoothest. Um, one of the smoothest boards that I ever tried was the Vimolo one, seeing as it's, it is, uh, designed to be entirely contactless uh, interesting design but uh, could have been smoother if I was able to lube them could have been smoother um, Alex says no no click to design just two contacts uh, together simple unfortunately it's if only it was that simple um, I mean, you should look at back at the Invir ones. Uh, Invir attempted to make the ultimate linear switch, and he possibly made the worst linear switch. Yeah, that that thing was horrid. Makes an excellent tactile switch, though. Funnily enough, just gonna go back over a couple of these because I can I can see the pads a little on them ones, but otherwise that's looking good. Just to clean that off. Just turn the tip a little bit. I'm turning off. Yeah, I, I think that uh, I think linears. They, they might sound easy to make but to make a really really nice one that's very smooth and isn't clunky at all I think it gets a little bit more difficult at that stage Alrighty, so let's put this together a little bit Before I do that, what am I doing? Just give this a test, little test out. So let's get a Firefox window open. Make sure all of these switches are working nicely. Now, do I have a? Yes, I yes. I have got. I bought a uh, USB-C connector, um, USB-C Pro Micro for this, so you can see right there, nice little USB-C Pro Micro on it, and so because of that, I need to use a USB-C switch. Uh, you'd be interested in the board with met magnetic reeds uh, that were uh, then. Uh, where there is no contact, Yanko is going through the process of designing the PCB front end. Yeah, that's the one that you showed me, isn't it? That was a beautiful board. It looks incredible. Um, not sure. Not sure how easy it is to uh, to deal with, though. Uh, yeah. So. Uh, keyboard tester.com let's launch the program let's get rid of that let's 
so... There we go. So, I'm just going to bring this up on the screen for a second. You get the... It's just setting up the keyboard. So, let's just... Oh, that's not too good straight off. Albeit, this, that is one of the... Um, luckily, that is one of the... Uh, Hold tight ones, so we'll go back to that one in a minute. W E R T I. And then a backspace. How about an enter? So this is not working either. Oh, no, there we go. Yes, so this is my function. For the first of many function layers on this board, so that works, that's good. I remember the layout for this because I haven't looked at it for some time. So that's our shift. Our left shift. Oh, that's Windows key. Control. Alt. Spacebar works. There the control works. So this is our other function. So that should give us. Yep, that all works. I can't remember if there's anything else on the other function layers. There we go, and that's the other function layer. Many, many function layers on this board. So that works, but so the only one that we're not sure about right now is the second one. So let's just pull it up. Any problems being with it, so let's just bend this a little. Okay. okay, let's see if that's any better now. Look at that, almost like it was meant to work. Perfect. So we know that, that all works. So let's build her now. Just remove that for now. Uh, yeah, very tall switches. The low profile Model F came about. Uh, I wouldn't exactly say it's low profile, but sure. Low profile maybe for those days. So. Okay, so I'm going to need to pull out the keycaps there to find the little standoffs. A couple of little ones. Alex says, yeah, it was marketed as low profile compared to Beam Springs. <laughs> Marketed as low profile compared to Beam Springs. <laughs> Sorry, that's uh, that is kind of funny. Different time and place, I guess. Different time and place. Uh, 
just need to get a screwdriver onto this flathead. Uh, where are the flathead ones? There they are. Probably screw these down by hand by a little bit. Just need to snug them up a bit. I'm gonna try and get some nice photos of this tomorrow evening, I hope. Uh, as this is a little bit of a showpiece, really. More of a showpiece than a uh, than normal. One thing that I am missing from this is a nice keycap set. That was one thing that I did want to get for this. And I was very, very close to ordering um, the KBD Paradise ones, the Japanese, Japanese legend ones, but just couldn't quite do it. Didn't want to spend that much money, especially when I had a keycap set here. So I was also very close to buying Kuro Kuro Shiro or whatever it is. Stocks will know which one I'm talking about. So I'm just going to snug these up. I made some makeshift slots in these to be able to tighten them up with a screwdriver it's not the best design in the world but that's what you get for using um, these types of socket Kuroshiro yeah I was gonna get some Kuroshiro caps for this I'm getting round to the refinement of um, cherry profile caps Albeit DSA is still the love. So that sits quite nicely. But that's the underside of the board. You notice some slight marks in the middle here. I've got to restain it. I just made, got a little nick on it from somewhere. I don't know exactly where from. But doesn't really cause much much of an issue if I restain it. It'll look fine. And that's the underside of the board. Uh, the song you can see it underneath my name there. Um, uh, un un underneath my name, underneath my picture. Um, Kuro Shiro. So let's just add some caps to this now. You can't see it, or you can't. I don't know what you're saying. I do not know what you're meaning. Uh, just get the white on black set from Mash Drop, it's kind of cheap. Well, you say about getting just a white on black set. Uh, 
I like this one. Yeah, this is the Oko, um, Oko one, seeing as I've got the proper pan signs and stuff like that. It's a heavy boy though. I wouldn't want another um, white and black, to be fair. I've got black on white and white on black, so I'm all set. used to uh, normal layout ones um, it's just chili jazz hip-hop jazz NCS yeah it, so um, it, it will say the that that's the song title I believe uh, let's have a look So the last song was no copyright music, chilly, chill, lo-fi, hip-hop, beat, free instrumental. Copyright free chill hop music. That was uh, that was the title. If it's easier, I can. I will just do this. That's the playlist that I'm playing from at the moment. It makes it easier. Let's just go back. Uh, but another one, uh, you can never have too many keycap sets. So you're right, I can never have too many keycap sets. Also, your thoughts on Q01? I don't know what this is. I don't know what Q01 is. Um, can you link me to what it is? I, d I don't know what it is at all. Surprising, I know. No pictures of gnomes, please. rather tasty so who, who makes this keycap set it's a lovely looking keycap set but is it I'm assuming for a hundred and what well, hundred and forty nine dollars I'm assuming that it would be a Oh, made by GMK, yeah, I was assuming it would be made by GMK. That's, it's a really nice looking keycap set. Uh, I like purple and black, so. I may well have to think about that one. Um, oh, 
Oh, it's the GMK store. I, d I never knew that. I never knew that um, that was the GMK store. I don't uh, don't really pay that much attention to uh, to that sort of thing. That link, nice, nice keycap. It's similar, similar to PNK. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. whole thing is a learning experience for me and you well probably less of a learning experience for you guys more of a learning experience for me key doesn't feel as good and I think it's probably for the same reason that the spacebar didn't feel as good when I tried it earlier they work fine in normal normal orientation but as soon as you flip them they seem to bind a little bit like you can almost I'm trying to get my finger off there you go they bind they seem to bind a little bit there you go Seems to be binding ever so slightly, but if I flip the spring, well, it's fine. So let's uh, key cap pull off. I'm gonna swap. I will swap it out for a 78 gram spring, though. Okay, I'm gonna need this as well, aren't I? Uh, excuse me. <laughs> Um, so, my advice guy says, "What are your, uh, what is your, what are your advice for people that are hosting meetups? Anything is a good in mind to keep. Um, best thing to keep in mind is that if you're going to run a meetup, let other people make the decisions." Um, so it's not your fault at the end of the day. <laughs> yeah, what I'd say, is, uh, as Alex has said, um, probably try and these meetup places. They generally try and pack people in. So if it says a hundred, um, expect to only be able to fit seventy-five keyboard people in there. Um, Bring bring along some uh, hand sanitizer. People do do want that sort of thing. Still a little bit funny, but less so. So you can see now it returns, but there is a little bit of resistance there. It's probably just the zeals themselves, but. There is less resistance than there was. I'm going to swap it out for a 78 gram spring nonetheless. But um, uh, This is nothing to do with me hosting a meetup, just in general. Um, yeah, let people let people choose for themselves. If it's a community, community one, don't just say, what days can I do? Um, it's always nice to be able to make the meetup if you're the meetup organizer. But at the end of the day, you want people to meet new people um, you want it to be a social event and if I was I was fully prepared to if it was going to be the case that um, if it was going to be on a random day that I couldn't do I wouldn't make the meetup um, I was fully prepared for that but make sure that people are just involved I think that's I think that's the key thing uh, make sure that people get a choice on where the meetup's going to be held, where, uh, when it's going to be held, the sort of locations, that sort of thing, um, how much they're willing to spend, stuff like that, it makes makes the whole process a lot easier. 
also gets people involved. I mean, that was one of the great things about it was um, when we first started doing the meetup, um, we just it was a bunch of people in a cafe, and it wasn't really a proper wasn't a proper meetup. Um, well, I say it wasn't a proper meetup. We all met up, but it wasn't a proper properly organised meetup. Um, that was when back in the day when I wasn't an admin at all, or I was just a sort of a moderator for about a week, I think, uh, before we did the meetup. So um, says uh, so group source of venue. Well, you, you might well be surprised. Ask, a, call upon the the um, the community. You never know; they might be, might be able to help you out. When we did meet up two point five. Um, or 1.5, I can't remember which one it was, what, what we named it now. The one where we sent, um, uh, before Thomas left the UK, uh, Kurosan, uh left the UK, uh, we did a meetup for him. Um, and so we went down to Southampton and he recommended that we have a look at the Makerspace and one of the guys in the Makerspace was into mechanical keyboards. And we ended up having it there and it was, it, it was, it was a bit, more cramped than I expected, as as I imagined it pro probably would have been when they said they might not be able to fit that many people in. But it was still a really really nice meetup. Um, you might well find that somebody's got a wood, some sort of um, woodworking shop somewhere, or that's quite useful, and you don't have to pay any money for it, and keeps the costs of the meetup down. You know. Um, also, it's good to organise meals and turn it into a special occasion. Yeah, a social occasion. Yeah, that's what I've done for each of the meetups as well. Um, I've tried to make sure that there was there's food and drinks and stuff like that to go to afterwards. Um, even if it was a case of um, asking uh, for, for the last one, I asked Ross. I just said, Ross, I'm, I'm not going to have time to be able to look for food and stuff like that. I'm sorting out all of the venue stuff. Can you just find a nice, nice uh, bar or restaurant in the local area? And so he put out a form asking what sort of food did people want to eat. Um, we all, we all decided, and then we all went out for a nice meal afterwards, and we just ch chatted and talked shit pretty much um, for a little while after the meetup, which was lovely. But those sort of things, just going out for a, going out for something to eat. Um, Going out for beers afterwards, I mean, we had plenty to drink, we went out to multiple bars afterwards. Um, and it was the same for um, London as, as it was to Birmingham. We went out for multiple multiple, multiple bars and we had um, a meal before the the day before the meet-up and the, um, a meal the, uh, the day of the meet-up as well, which was really nice. Um, yeah. Oh, Cronenberg's here. The, uh, first one was great, don't lie. Oh, I won't lie, it was good. It was good. It, it was so informal. That, that was the thing. It was incredibly informal. Um, we, all, we all just... We, it was a, 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 originally meant to be a... Um, uh, what, where was it meant to be? A community community centre uh, in, in London. But when we turned up... Um, I think it was either Will or it was Hong um, had forgotten to um, to actually book to book one of the rooms, and so we turned up and they were they were having their Sunday Sunday dinner uh, was it Sunday dinner Christmas dinner it might have been they were having Christmas dinner or Sunday dinner, and uh, we they they couldn't accommodate us so we all just wandered down the road into a cot brasserie and ended up eating eating. Uh, Eating and drinking and talking about keyboards in there, and that was the first time I got meet meet some of you guys. But since then, uh, putting a bit more um, work into these um, uh, into these uh, meetups, like the last Birmingham one was a uh, was quite a lot more work. There was a lot more going on, guest speakers, everything like that. That's one one thing that I might um, recommend you actually was guest speakers. Guest speakers made the um, made the meetup a little bit more interactive than it is normally and some some games as well uh, 
Um, but yeah, Jordan, I, I can agree. The Birmingham one was good. It, you didn't um, you didn't come out for the um, for the the long slog afterwards of drinking that we went for. That was uh, I, I I remember sitting back in the um, the uh, the hotel's bar just drinking, drinking with a bunch of people. That was good. Um, I mean, I have a venue um, that I got through a family member uh, that can host a lot more than uh, that than I need. But else, I, I uh, what else? Well, what, one good thing to do is to get an idea of exactly how many people want to come along. Give them the specifics. Say say that it, where it is, when you're thinking, what sort of month, and get a response from them. So see 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 if it is going to be. Uh, if it's going to be the 30 people that you think or it's going to be 100 people um, for the next UK meetup we've got like 85 responses or something ridiculous so which has got, gone way past one of the venues that I'd uh, I, uh, that I found so I found venues that could do 50, 100, 150 people and so that first venue is long gone and I thought that would be perfect for us um, I thought we were going to get about 40 to 50 people and it looked like they could do 50 people pretty easily so find out how many people want to come along and find out what boards that they're going to bring along and um, what what other activities people want to do uh, we put on typing of the dead and 10 fastest fingers because people wanted to see those things um, people wanted to see more competitions people wanted to see uh, vendors give out more stuff um, uh, the metro is 50 meters from the venue. Um, parking is always useful, as um, uh, as a Alex has said. Uh, it's in central Copenhagen, uh, so parking will always be bad. But it is part of the apartment complex that means uh, that is meant for uh, parities. So I'm guessing it's not an issue. Um, I mean, uh, as, as long as you've got plenty of space and people can actually get there, M make sure that they know um, if they're going to have to take the tube or anything like that, what stops they're going to need to get off at, uh, where some other good parking might be. Um, for Birmingham, we were alright because um, it's like that there's loads of parking all around Birmingham, so we didn't really need to tell people, but t letting people know that they needed to get off at... Um, I can't remember what the name of the Birmingham Central, uh, it might even be called Birmingham Central Station, getting off there and how far it is and Google Maps places and stuff like that. And if you are going to sell tickets for it, um, one thing that I would suggest is um, when the people buy the ticket, give them the PDF afterwards. I know it sounds simple, but uh, we've had so many people um, try to get into the room, into the meetups for free in the past. And uh, it's it's really really unfair for the people that have bought tickets that other people are getting in there for free um, dumb. <laughs> got heavily sloshed so, so you must have been one of the people that went out with um, with stocks uh, and uh, and had a heavy one from there I have a sp uh, hmm, I might have a sponsor for the meetup if he replies to me um, and I know that there are some people that could make uh, uh, make some kind of talk at the meetup so for us the um, those uh, sponsors we've had multiple people ask uh, ask us to sponsor the event um, but I've tried to I've desperately tried to steer away from that whole being sponsored part because obviously it's then somebody has a bit more ownership over the meetup and you move into that whole area that um, one of the European meetups had where it's you've got one one person sponsoring it and then somebody in the same sort of sector wanting to come showcase their their stuff it gets a little bit awkward and if you can have less people with oars, um, oars in the pie, is that the saying? Fingers in the pie? I can't remember the saying. If you have more people, uh, less people in there, 
who are who've got a say over what happens, the better. Uh, it gives you a bit more control over what can what you can do and everything like that. And the Jordan, there was no need to worry. There was no need to worry. I, I was out. Me, me, Jay, and um, Chris Suarez were <laughs> were pretending to be refined and drinking old fashions. <laughs> it was that was after quite a few drinks, and we we, we did not look refined whatsoever. <laughs> so you'd have been, you'd have been perfectly fine. Uh, we got seventy at the last London one though, and we always grow so. Yeah, so one thing that, uh, another thing that I can always say is that I'll always overestimate. When when it came to sales, um, we had, I think it was 60. 60 people said that they were coming. Uh, and then for London, we had like 70, I think it ended up being 73. And then a couple of people didn't make it. So we ended up at about 70-ish. So overall, always overestimate. And if you're going to put on food... Make sure that there's an overestimation on food and drink. Um, make sure that there's specific places for people to eat and drink. Lots of people don't like food near boards. Um, and be um, and and be strict about that. You can be strict as a meetup organizer. Um, New Street, yeah, yeah, new, that's it. Yeah, New Street. Sponsors, I have a company that wants to give me uh, a keyboard or two that I can give away for them. I mean, they so they they don't they don't really count as a sponsor. Um, that they're, they're they're just a vendor really. Um, and you can for for our meetups, I ask that the vendors pay a little bit more, um, and then they have the opportunity to. Um, not sponsor but they have the opportunity to give away prizes for certain games so the 10 fastest fingers game that was that had prizes from um, cool cables and uh, mech boards did the uh, typing of the dead um, mech box mat did the switch um, choosing the switch game um, so I mean but you can allow them to do that I mean, on the day uh, we had uh, keep the keyboard co give away a couple of uh, couple of boards. So I mean, that the, they're not specifically sponsors, but they are their vendors who want to give stuff away. And um, it was it was very kind of them to give that stuff away. But at the same time, I don't expect it or any of the vendors to give any any of the stuff away uh, on the day. So I generally ask that the vendors pay a little bit more towards the the fees of the. Um, the place that we're going to be the, the venue costs so that we can so that they can have a guaranteed spot and that we can actually reach the the MOQ um, a little bit easier to be able to pay for the event I mean we, we the, the last the last meetup place was very expensive this next one is going to be quite a lot cheaper so we might be able to save some money on the ticket costs and also give quite a few giveaways as well so, oh, don't worry, mate. Next meetup, I'm getting. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to be staying up in London as well. And the where the venue is, there's quite a lot of bars, and it's quite. We're not far from some quite trendy bars and stuff like that. Uh, as old as I sound saying trendy bars. So, but there's some nice places over there. So, we'll um, we'll definitely be hitting up some stuff. But I'm, I'm going to be putting out the forms uh, after we've. In fact, in the next couple of days, we've got four days left of um, uh, of choosing uh, of uh, working out how many people want to come along, and um, from there, I'm going to then put out the uh, the actual date polls, and then do you want to come out for a meal? And then I'll find some pla nice places to go have some meals and some drinks, and we'll likely do a uh, a date one day before, and then one day after, pretty much. Uh, one day after the day of the meetup, sorry. So one day before and then the day of. Um, sounds good. As, uh, oh, sorry, I'm skipping a whole lot of um, things here. Um, 
at my IC I had like 25 responses and the venue I found supports it. Oh, you, you should be completely fine. Just make sure that if you're going to be doing ticketed, um, just make sure that you've got the right number. I mean, you might find that there's an influx of people from from the next one. But you just just have a um, secondary um, place lined up. I mean, I've got a secondary secondary location lined up if we, we end up going over like 100 people. Um, we should be okay. looks like just need to get the month and the date that that is good for the largest majority of the interest check responses uh, yeah yeah just make sure you've got the the most amount of people coming along uh, anything that has cocktails <laughs> I well I, I'm sure most places uh, most places in that area will do cocktails and stuff like that uh, Quinnenberg says London 2019 will be good uh, will feel like a big throwback to the first but vastly improved in quality yes I'm well well I hope at least I hope I hope should hopefully have a production 75% ready Ooh, that would be even nicer see a nice production 75% there um, yeah I think uh, I think I have everything under control I only need to find a date yep F finding a date I, I just allow people to choose the date like in our other ones, it's uh, it's easier to let people choose the choose the date. I think uh, from what I can see at the moment, I think April or May might be winning. I'm not 100% certain. So if you haven't voted, make sure you you do um, uh, make sure you do vote. Always a good idea to have a backup. What happens if the uh, ceiling caves in at the meetup that you want to, uh, the venue you want to be at? You know, uh, you know, up shit creek, as they would say. Um, I've got way more boards for the next one. That's good to hear. Good to hear. So, multiple attempts at 10 fastest fingers to beat Ross. I mean, somebody has to de dethrone him. Uh, ones that I'm happy with too not my shitty XD75 I mean XD75 is not that shitty uh, Lunatrix check your discord DMs I I, I did I, I did check my discord DMs I saw that you sent me a message and I glossed over it entirely uh, I, I can imagine what's in there I, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming I'm assuming what's going to be in there Um, I've made a form for people to fill out closing it at the end of the month yeah that's a good, uh, good choice Ross can't be dethroned <laughs> he'll put in a, he, he will he will 170 words per minute he, he, he's he's just going easy at 155 he'll just, he'll just come in with 170 and just throw down the whopper That, that's going to be the only way that somebody beats him is getting getting one of those stenos in and but even then I think you have to use a special piece of software in conjunction with those boards to be able to to get it like how the fuck do you type that fast <laughs> man's got fingers on still no man has got very refined keyboards where he has spent a lot of time working out what spring weight works for him what loop works for him and uh, and only then uh, can he type that fast and plenty of practice as well I think he's been on the high scores a couple of times you know you know you get that that uh, the main page when you go on it and it says um, who has the high scores at the time I think he's gotten a third or fourth or something like that at one point so it's pretty impressive so let uh, back to keyboards so this is now complete so this is my little board so what it looks like is the camera has frozen again which was probably why, why nothing was moving on screen probably a good time to do it to be fair oh, wait. let's just make sure it shuts the piece of software down properly
so is that is that the only way that we're going to dethrone um, Ross? Is by throwing a steno board in there to try and beat him? Or is that what he's been using all of this time? <gasps> we finally worked out how he does it. Ross is typing badly on the steno board. That's the only way that he, he gets away with it. Alright, we're back. So, she's done now. So, this is the lovely little 40%. So, this has just got some um, fairly cheap XDA caps on it. I say fairly cheap, but they're actually quite... They're not too bad. Um, and so, these are just... Um, I can't even remember what they're called. Um, just an XDA 65% off of KVD fans, I think. I was one of the first people to buy it. Um, but decently solid little caps. I mean, they're nothing to write home about, but they're XDA. They're um, nice die sub caps. Um, I've got the rest of the set uh, in a box behind me somewhere. But uh, nice little brass plate. That I wanted to show the brass plate off, so I didn't go for a full high profile case, but I didn't want to go for a low profile completely low profile so you can see the switch is just a little bit only a little low but uh, yeah and so you've got the brass uh, and then you've got the wood sections oh it's going on the other something else you got some nice little wood sections I've nicked it here but that's gonna get hidden quite nicely because um, if I put the right one here is this the right one no it's not um, I don't know where my little name tag one has gone. But this is this is this is a little name tag that that um, thingy did me. So this is going to sit there like that. So if you guys can see that, it's going to sort of sit there a bit like that, a bit straighter. I've got to try and glue it in place and then uh, get it nice. But it just says my name on it, and I'm going to try and put that on this uh, left hand side. Where the USB cutout would go, and just something like that. Obviously, it's not stuck down at the moment, but it'll sit there quite nicely. I've got to work out how to get it in place. I'm going to probably glue it in place to begin with, and then I've got to work out how to tack it, tack it onto the actual metal sections, or another inventive way of doing it. But until then not something for this stream unfortunately it was a present from laser boost present from laser boost and then so this is this is the main part of it this is the underside of the board so the great great wave of Kanagawa um, one of my favorite bits of art I've got a cup up there with it on and I've got another board down down beside me somewhere both them um, both got uh, the great wave on it and uh, yeah this is the this is the board Got some little standoff feet, which work quite nicely. But uh, yeah, I can try and do a little bit of a typing typing demo on it. I can't can't really type on this too well, so so it's. In fact, what I'll do is I'll turn this off, and I'll bring it a little bit closer. Let's do a bit of typing on it for you guys. Horrible touch typing there for you. Bit of horrible, horrible touch typing.
overall I'm really liking the sound of this the switches feel great I'm loving the 72 gram um, uh, reverse progressives uh, on these switches they do feel really excellent uh, the 78 for the the main two the main two um, stabilized keys really does help I think they they do have a bit of a problem with um, uh, with stabilized keys some of these um, strings but overall I'm really happy with them um, really happy with this board uh, Alex says um, by stepping down as admin you're uh, you're now able to participate in the best board of the meetup I see what you did there yes yes I, I will be um, moving back as admin uh, right after the meetup so uh, thanks thanks for all the fish as, as, as the dolphin said <laughs> Uh, I'm disappointed 40% is the only true layout. <sighs> it's a bit of a meme layout. I'm, I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of it. Uh, loud spacebar though. Yeah, the, the spacebar is quite loud. I mean... Exactly sure why it's so loud. Let's just pop it up. Seem overly loud though. It's got a hollow um, space bar, that's the only thing. Oh, I, there's no need to worry, Mario Vasco. I'm not opening any of the links that he sends me anymore. so loud but I'll have to think think about that after the um, stream I've got some silver thing over the other side of the room that I do need to cut and I'll cut it into into some sort of shape that'll fit this quite nicely and I'll put some silver thing inside of it I think that'll probably help out a great deal with the overall sound of this the little 40% board so I'm going to try and I'll get some pictures of it tomorrow and I'll post them some up on RMK and stuff but uh, yeah I hope you guys have enjoyed the stream tonight and obviously Amber I'm talking to you here if you haven't hit that uh, um, uh, if you haven't hit that uh, follow button please do um, I'll be streaming next Friday um, so that is when is that Friday the 8th so I'll be streaming on Friday the 8th and then Saturday the 9th. Uh, I've got two boards, um, two boards to do. So I'll be streaming both of them. One's a 60% and the other is a 75%. So make sure you tune in for that. But I'll have a bit more of a tinker off stream with this to see if I can get, um, uh, if it is working. Oh, so I've been told that it's not a gnome. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I've um, I saw this on the um, uh, on the Discord the other day. Really nice board. Really, really nice board. 
Um, is it sculpted essay? Uh, whoever's done, whoever did that was quite nice. Thank you, uh, thank you, Amber, for the follow. Very nice board, though, uh, Jordan. Very, very nice board. What switches you got inside of it? But unfortunately, guys, that brings the stream stream to the end. Um, I, I will have a tinker of tinker with this off stream and see if I can get the space bar working nicely. But this will be coming to the um, next meetup with me. Um, I've got to do some more refining touches like that uh, little nameplate that I've got to put on. Uh, but yeah, I, I hope you've all enjoyed the stream. I, I hope that everybody watching is following. If you aren't, please do hit the follow button. Um, you never know. Soon in the future, I might even have a sub button. You never know. You never know. But uh, if you do, if you do uh, have a board and you don't feel confident confident enough to build it, or you don't have the time, or um, what have you, um, drop me a message on the Discord or a, a private message after the stream, uh, and I'll be sure to give you a hand. Um, but um, Hope you all have a really good uh, rest of the weekend uh, and I will see you next stream. Talk to you later guys. See ya.